just a quick disclaimer, we will be talking about periods and genders, objects, i.e. penises and vaginas, and we'll be talking about cum and things like that, so if you are not comfortable with those conversations, or if there are children around, we probably do not recommend it, and please watch all of our other podcasts or listen to other ones, this is a little bit more of an 18 plus podcast, but I hope you still enjoy it. I'm gonna hear the rustling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool beans. Well, hello. This is the podcast. <laughs> so today I've got with me who have I got? Dakota. Dakota. Is that uh, with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. And my name is Jada. So you probably noticed we've had other podcasts before on the channel. Hmm. So it's a bit of different setup. So do you want to kind of explain your reason as to why it's a bit different and I can do mine after? Uh, okay. So um Huh. I suppose, um, so I've had to pretty much, I was going to say remove, but that sounds very blunt. Um, I'm probably going to feature in more of the videos um, than actually host because um, just in this certain time, I can't actually prioritize the YouTube channel that well. Um, but I'll still be like on the channel and stuff like that, featuring and helping out as much as I can. So you will see me, but um, yeah, not like hosting that much anymore. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then we've kind of talked about it ourselves and kind of just discussed that we'll still be doing the podcast. It'll be more like a co-host style. Mm -hmm. So you're still gonna have Dakota's voice. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we're still gonna be stuck with it. Mm -hmm. And then. We've kind of, I've ch chosen to do more just audio with some visual things you'll see on screen. Just because A, it's a little bit more comfortable to doing solely audio. You don't have to worry about like, you know, is the lighting good, is the camera quality good, editing it, all of that type of stuff, syncing audios, all of that, the more nitty gritty stuff. But also it's just more of a relaxed version and it's a trial. If we don't like it when this is done, then we can change it. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd just see how we go for now. But yeah. So I thought I'd just kind of get that out of the way mm, instead of yeah. being like, you know, why did you change? Yeah, what's the change? <laughs> it's so abrupt, but no. Yeah. It's definitely more, I don't know, comfortable. I mean, we're sitting on bean bags right now, so like we're pretty chill at the moment. So. Yeah, so if you hear any <laughs> rustling, it's the bean bags. We yeah. both have our own uh, bean bag, so we're mm. nice and comfy. Mm. So I thought for today, I decided to go on to BuzzFeed the most. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Valuable website on the mm. planet. Yeah. And I looked up some questions. Yes. So these are 16 questions men have for women. And I thought, we are both women. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can kind of answer these. And mm -hmm. I thought these would be really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had to go through all 16 just for kind of the shits and giggle. Mm. So the first one, for women who get their periods, which we both do, mm -hmm. what does it feel like? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what does it not feel like, hey? <laughs> Oh my god, did you want to go first? Yeah, I'm happy to go first. Oh, right, go for it. <laughs> While you chew and think mm, about it. Yeah. So, for me, it's very dependent on kind of the month in general. So, I can kind of be a bit more, have a lot more like mood swings, or it can sometimes feel like I'm being stabbed in the stomach repetitively, or yeah. I just want to cry. Yeah. Or all three. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a why feeling. And it's weird because, like, you know when you get your period. Because you just feel mm. it. Oh, yeah. Like, you just feel it being released. It's immediate and it sucks. <laughs> it's like a, oh, no. Mm. You get, like, all the girls to the meet check for yeah, you, yeah. seeing <laughs> if nothing's happened. Mm. But it's not, a, it's not, like, a fun thing. And I know... No. I know some boys or, like, people in general will be like, oh, they're just using their period as an excuse. No. No. Nah. -uh. Don't ever tell a woman like, oh, she's on a period or shit like that. Like, no, nah, that is the worst thing you can say to a girl. Just being like, you know, it, it's not an excuse. Yeah. Sometimes it is. You know, some girls actually use it for an excuse. But like, when they're generally saying, nah, I've got my period and I don't feel well, that's it. That's the yeah. end of the conversation. Oh, like, I hate it's like when like you know you get angry. It's like, are you on your period? It's like, <gasps> I know. It's like I'm not. That I'm gonna too. kill you first. <laughs> Don't ever ask that. Oh my god. It's like, jeez. Periods should not be used as an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> How does yours feel, Dakota? <laughs> uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it, like you said, like it really does depend on the um, on the person and yeah. um, how it really affects them. So, boys, you probably know or don't know, but, you know, other people 
bleed a lot and then a lot wow a lot of people will bleed less so i guess in a biological way it feels like down there um that it's just swollen and it just has you've got nothing you like have no control of anything down there but it just hurts <laughs> yeah it feels like you could literally put a pin to it and it just pop that, that's, yeah, that, no. that's the most I can say. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, it just, it's very uncomfortable and it doesn't just affect down there. It affects, you know, how you feel, how you look. Um, you feel bloated all the time. You don't want to do anything. Yeah. Even how you think you look. Yeah. It's just, a lot of mental stuff as it's well. It's so shit. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> the fact that, like, you know, you, it's just really annoying having to, like, oh shit it's my time of the month let's go buy some pads and then you have to look at 50 different ones being like that don't suit me it's like cool do they need wings do they not yeah. need wings do i need it's the like, big boys it's like a tinder bro like you're on tinder and you're like no that's not the one for me oh yes full wings like last through the night yes <laughs> that is mine <laughs> actually there yeah to buy them no. it was very random but like yeah that's that's probably how i would explain it so yeah for any boys wondering, that's that's pretty much what it feels like. It's not fun. Yeah, no. But again, it's different for everyone. But mm. it's, it's definitely not a fun time for anyone. No, not really. Mm-mm. Except for the chicks that like literally bleed like a pebble. <laughs> like I don't know how you do it, bro. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but maybe they have more like I don't know, just other things. Like you know, maybe. just mentally feeling horrible. Oh yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? So it might not be like annoying down there. But yeah. It might be annoying up top yeah you lose some gain some i don't know lose yeah mm. happy medium yeah <laughs> true okay okay so if you're straight or anything else um what really is the most important quality you look for in a man i hate that these are the questions i hate these so much <laughs> this is so funny wait so did a dude ask that or? yeah these are oh, okay. guys have asked these questions um, but i like how it just says if you're straight what really is the most important quality you look for a man. Yeah, but you can't you can't define that by like one opinion. That's the thing. Men are no I'm, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> no, never mind. Um I don't really know. It's difficult though, because I hate this. Like my mom asks me this all the time. She's like, you know, if you had to look around the room right now, what guy would you find attractive? I'm like, none. Because for me personally, it's more of like a personality and like how I connect with the yeah. person. Yeah. I can't be like, you know, oh, they're six foot plus. Give it to me. Yeah, just take it away. Yeah. In like some cases also, like attraction comes after. Yeah. Like they look hotter after you figure out their personality and the relationship between you two. But like, if I had to say, like if I was in a room with people, it would probably be maybe, uh, maybe the dialogue mm-hmm. of how they talk to the other people. Like, yeah. cause me personally, I do like intelligent men. Um, but it does depend on their dialogue, so, um, I don't know, if they sound smarter, then I'm like, oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I get that. I don't know, I guess for me, like, a quality is when they're, like, mine is more, like, I guess physical in a way, but, like, when they smile, like, Mm -hmm. when it just lights up the room, and you're like, okay, I'm a drawn to that. Yeah. Why, like, I want to know why, I want to talk to you more. It's that immediate, like, to me, it's that connection of, like, oh, you seem really happy. Mm Mm-hmm. Why are you so happy? Like, like why I, are you happy? <laughs> I want some of that. <laughs> Give me your happiness yeah. in the most politest way possible. Yeah. It, it, does, yeah. it definitely know. changes the whole atmosphere, though. Like, I don't want to be in a room full of, like, frowns, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if, yeah, if you generally see someone smiling, then you're kind of, like, drawn to that more. But Yeah, you're just kind of like, oh, they're happy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Mm. Why? <laughs> I think mm. I ask you why. Yeah. Okay. And then, this is kind of similar. I don't know why men are so curious about this. Mm. What's the first thing you notice about a man? So I guess we'll do the whole, like, without talking, like, no communication, nothing. Physically, just had to look at. Alright, do I give my honest answer or the one that I just sort of... Hey, you can do whatever. I'm happy to do honest. Because I'm like, oh, hands. No, I'm like, (laughs) no. Um, Well, to be honest, like, I do look... Um, for details but that's like just a personal preference like I'll look at their eyes like (laughs) sounds a bit like "Mm -hmm," but like you know the hands the collarbones like I I like the details and that probably yeah throws me more I don't think that's a bad thing though it's a good thing 
it looks nice. <laughs> it looks good. Mm -hmm. and it's good. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's weird though, because I'm, I still am like, I don't know. Mm. I guess, like, I could say eyes, but I feel like that's kind of almost like that thing where it's like, ah, oh, yes. To the windows to the cell. Yeah. <laughs> I can Word. see right through you. Oh my god. It's gosh. like, oh my god. I don't want to see through you. I mean, it could be anything, you know what I mean? Like, it could. I don't know, it could be a birthmark on the arm, it could be like, I don't know, a bold spot in the head or something, yeah. you know? Like, it could literally be anything, but it, it is a little difficult, so. Yeah, I think it is very much the whole, like, overall person, because, like, and I'm gonna say this is more for like 2D characters, but some <laughs> of them you just look and you're like, oh, she yeah, like done. The presence you carry, mm. 10 out of 10. You might look shit, but your presence, mm. beautiful. That's it. Mm. The way you carry yourself. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> uh, Yeah. I'm looking through these questions. I'm like, BuzzFeed, you want why? All right. Why? No, I haven't gone to the worst ones yet. Oh, no. Okay. So this is technically supposed to be question number two, but I didn't want to read it, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, go for it. How common is it for women to lie about their orgasms? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it is so... Super common. <laughs> Very. Extremely common. Very. Oh like, way too common. Oh my god, like, obviously. Well, um, I, I keep wanting... Uh, wow, my wording. But, like, I keep wanting to refer to, like, the biological stuff, but yeah. it's also, like, preference. Obviously, men don't need as long to get off as women do. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I don't think people... This is gonna be, like, TMI, maybe, but, like, when you're... I don't know having sex <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you insert it's not actually like that's not the main part that gets a chick off i don't know this yeah. is just preference and th you're missing the main spot fellas and like a lot of the time i think they just like be like oh yeah we both enjoyed it but like she didn't get off so it's like okay yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know how to go about this no <laughs> that's what i mean like these questions are weird but i was like i'm gonna ask me yeah yeah do but it. like i generally feel like Women tend to lie about it a lot more just because men think like, hey, cool. If I'm good, they're good. It's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are probably sitting in the corner like, that was so shit. Yeah. I'm going to lie to make you feel good. Inflate your ego. We'll be fine. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I mean, by the end of it, if <sighs> if they're generally asking like, oh my God, was that good? Like, you know, I was doing this and this and like, I felt good. Then like, I feel like half the time it's just like guilt. It's like, no, yeah. no, yeah. Like I really enjoyed it and stuff. But in reality, it's like, I didn't get off though, but I don't want to tell him that. Yeah, and it's like also not to say that, you know, women don't get off on mm. things, but like probably not as much as you yeah. fellas think. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. y'all need to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, man. I mean, it, yeah, it kind of just depends on how the relationship is and like how the uh, energy is in that circumstance, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. Mm. So, next one is, I'm weighing this very differently because I don't like this question. But, okay. <laughs> so the actual question is, do you take it personally if the man you're sleeping with can't or doesn't come? I don't like that question. Okay, fair. So, I'm going to say, do you have, a, like, does it matter how long you have to wait before doing the deed or having sex? Like, do you, what's, not like what's your own personal window, but more of like, you know, for some people, I know they, they like to have it. They have to have sex pretty much the minute they're with someone, or yeah. they have to feel like they have to wait after X amount of time. Mm. Does it really matter? Mm. Well, me personally, I think having sex in the first week is a no-go for me, mm -hmm. just because it's a week. Like, if you've just met this person, like, you have no- you cannot know a person in just one week. You may think you do, but that's just not how it is. You know what I mean? Like, you can be friends with someone for eight years and still don't know everything about them. Yeah. Um, personally, I would say, like, a month. Or if things really just click and happen naturally, then that's probably the best way to go. But, yeah, like, mine's probably a month or more if it, like, goes well. But, yeah, that's, that's probably my opinion on it, so. Yeah, I think it's one of those things where, obviously you talk to your partner about it because mm -hmm. you know if one of you is like yep let's go minute one <laughs> consent <laughs> and then the other one's like no 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 i'm not comfortable mm -hmm. then you need to respect that yeah if you can't respect that then don't be in the relationship yeah exactly i think that's a big thing mm. but i don't know like for me personally it's all about how i feel in the relationship because mm. if i'm feeling a bit iffy about it 
I'm going to put it off a lot. Yeah. If I'm feeling comfortable, then it might happen. But even then, I still would have to wait a couple of months, if not to a year, to do it. Because for me, it's like, all right, I want to know what you're like. I want to know not everything about you, but I want to feel comfortable enough that you're not just going to, like, leave me as soon as we do the deed yeah. type of situation. Because mm. that has been talked about. I know some of my friends, it's kind of a thing. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's a scary mm. thing to do as well. Yeah, definitely. You know? I mean, that's also... Again, all of this is going to be our opinion. Yeah. But it's, it is kind of a scary thing. Because mm. I think, like, um, the point where, like, in a relationship where you both really open up is, like, the six-month period, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's when you know, true colours come out, or it could be even, like, it can vary, but, like, that's just what I've heard as well. Yeah. Um, so it's, like, even if you wait the six months or even after, that way you can really understand one another. Yeah. Yes. Definitely wait until you're out of the honeymoon stage. Please. It's so <laughs> freaking stupid, man. I'm not saying I did it, but I'm just saying, like, it's... Mm. Honeymoon stage is a unique You should head not... Your genitals, basically. Yeah. That, mm. that, no, that's, that's yeah. pretty fair. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Speaking of genitals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's me, come on. He says, when it comes to the penis size, how small is too small or how big is I be? know. Bro, it doesn't matter. I'm going to ruin these poor boys' heart. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. I don't even know. Like, I don't think it matters. Look, there's a point where it's like, you got to be realistic. <laughs> Can you really do something to a woman with this? You know what I mean? Like, is it going to actually <laughs> go? <laughs> like, I'm not judging any dude's dick size. Like, that's fine. Whatever. And I know that it's, like, apparently frowned upon if you're, like, what, two inches and shit like that. But, like, in a realistic matter, what are you going to do with a two-inch dick in a woman? In yeah. a woman, sorry. But, like, you know, like, there are so many different ways for you to do get off without even inserting mm. yeah I don't, know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you I, I don't know I'm like cool I don't get the whole fixation on like why does it matter on the size mm. or like you know oh you know you've tapped that what was the size <laughs> you know just, yes. just measure on your leg type thing I'm like yeah what? Or the uh, whole, like, stigma to, like, superiority if you're, like, eight inches or something. Yeah. Or, like, bigger. And I'm like, okay, if it do <laughs> Okay, maybe not bigger, but, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know. Like, I, I think the average is, like, four. I could be wrong. I, I didn't research Yeah, I generally have no idea. But, like, use what you got, man. Be proud. If you if you have a two-inch dig, then be proud that you have that, like... Just be like, you got it. It's fine. Yeah. Like, no worries. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Do what you can, man. You can do a lot with a lot, I guess. Yes. That did not a, a lot with not a lot. Yeah, there you go. That's on. <laughs> the one thing I will say, though, for mm. the love of God, stop sending dick pics. <laughs> no one likes it. They're not pretty. <laughs> They're not. And you will be surprised how many girls will keep it and rate them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> compared to others. Yeah, man. Once that sent, it's sent. You're done. <laughs> like, I know some chicks, they have an entire spreadsheet. Mm. It's like, you know, Excel... <laughs> nah, nah, that looks like child play. Like, oh my God. Oh. just stop, please. They're not pretty. Like, at the end of the day, man, it's just a piece of meat that know. is on you. Like, I don't understand how it's attractive. Like, it's it's not. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't know, what do you want us to say? Get it checked? I don't know, what do you want <laughs> Don't say that because I'll literally say that to someone. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm like, excuse me, that might that looks wrong. It's like, mm, how do you get that? Mm, might need some like, work. Just fix all of that. But yeah, lesson learned. You know. Yeah, just no to the dick pics. If just you're thinking don't. about it, no, just don't. Just this is it's not attractive. These are two voices telling yeah. you no. <laughs> just don't. Add it to the pile in your head currently. Yeah, like just. I don't know. That That's it, basically. Yeah. Mm. Well, this would be interesting for you, mm -hmm. which is, what do you find most attractive in other women? Oh, God. Because... No, 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 that's okay. I was going to say, as yeah. you're kind of like the... She's the straightest person I know, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Yeah. So, this is why I'm curious for you. Um... I have to really think about this now. <laughs> that's fine. Like, it can be traits, personality. Yeah. It can be literally anything. It doesn't matter what. I would say hair. To be honest, like, I don't know if it's jealousy as well. Because, <laughs> like, some women's hair are, like, really pretty. And it makes me mad because they're, like, what I want my hair to look like. But at the same time, it looks, like, 
it just works for some of them and like also like some women have really nice aesthetics that yeah. just work with everything and they're able to like you know add that to their lifestyle and like that's probably what I find pretty <laughs> pretty <laughs> or attractive yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's fair. But yeah. I think for me, what I find most attractive in other women, and like just in general, is mm. when people are comfortable being themselves. Mm. That's just, it's so pretty when that happens because you're just like, damn, you're being yourself, you're comfortable with that. Like, I'm not saying you have to be 100% comfortable, show it, like, show and tell everything. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you're comfortable enough to kind of be like, yep, you know, like I'm a little bit more like <laughs> nerdy than others yeah. or whatever, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Having. Not hiding yourself. I think that's something that's quite beautiful in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Cute. <Yeah. laughs> um, what do you think is the main difference between men and women? Apparently, the main. Oh my the main. There's only one um, apparently. Genitalia? <laughs> <laughs> other than physical. Oh, other than physical Other stuff, than we'll physical, say. I think... Um, no. Uh, mm, I don't really... That is a hard one. Like, because I don't want to, like, stereotype or, like, um, I was going to say, like, understanding. Mm -hmm. Because obviously there's always going to be a separation to what women understand of men and vice versa. But, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, as much as, I don't know, we all try and understand each other, um, whether it's gender and stuff like that, there, there's always going to be a separation in that, so... No, I agree. Mm. That's why there's a book called, like, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Oh. It's it's a really old book, but it's basically saying, like, you know, men are from their own planet, women are from their own, and that's why there's so many differences. Mm. Yep. And all these different things, because of the way they think, the way they interact, even, like, you know, you can have, like, eye signals and all this stuff. Yep. It's, it, I mean, I have to read it, but, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. apparently it's a good book. Yeah. But mm. I think one of the main differences... And just like in general, is like how society treats the genders. Mm, yeah. And just like how you present yourself gender wise. Yeah. So, you know, I know a lot of people, a lot of men in particular, don't fully understand this. And we're not trying to say, you know, men don't experience this either. But, you know, going outside and, you know, at night merely is dangerous for oh, girls. Oh, yeah. Straight yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you're going, how far. Mm. Immediately, it's like, okay. Do I have someone I can call straight away? What's the root home? Better stay in the light, you know? Yeah, Walk yeah. in the center if necessary. All these things you're immediately yeah. thinking. That's what we're not... Well, girls aren't necessarily... Oh, they are taught that to be very cautious. But when you get out into the real world, it becomes so much more real. And I think that's one thing that men aren't taught is that we are scared and we are cautious of everything, even yeah. though it doesn't seem like that. Like... You know, just sitting on the bus. Oh, there's a man behind me. What is he thinking about? Is he looking at me? What kind of thing is he going to do next? Or just little stuff, you know? Like, it depends on the tone, the dialogue. Just, it, it's such a massive thing that shouldn't have evolved to that extent. But women live like that every day. And men, like some men, live like that too. Um, it's just not elaborated enough in school. And we're not taught that um, enough, I guess. Yeah, and I've always been curious if it's a like a generational thing that your parents kind of teach you yeah, or yeah. what it is because I always know like in my house because I'm the only child and I'm a, I'm a woman but it's always immediately like okay you can't go outside when it's dark because what if mm. you know like oh you're gonna go out clubbing okay do you have a way to get home who's you know how are you getting home yeah do not take drinks from anyone yeah do not let people go near your drink yeah. only by yeah what do i wear yeah. am i showing too much am i kind of not showing enough yeah make sure if you're gonna have a drink it's a bottle of water that you keep cap on at all times you know all of these mm. things it's like okay there's a lot to think about yeah yeah and obviously men have their own versions of it or similar things mm. but it's just obviously from our point of view because we're both girls it's like okay society definitely treats men and women very differently oh yeah for sure and yeah it's just i know it got very political in a sense no, <laughs> you know, like, oh, shit. Yeah. it's like oh no but it's just a, uh, the society we live in now like obviously we would be like oh we want to change this but in reality we probably will never be able to change that knowing the fact that you know 
men are, you know, physically stronger than women. Not all, but, you know, that's just how it is. That's men the are, stereotype. Yeah, yeah, like, men are stronger than women, they are bigger than women, and they are the superior, we are the inferior. It's, it's not how it should be, but that's just how it's become, I guess, so. Yeah. And, like, over time, it's definitely gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. You know, like, for example, in most places, women are allowed to leave the house. They're allowed to have jobs. Yeah, they can yeah. do all these things. It's definitely a lot better than, let's say, 100 years ago. But it's still yeah. not even. It mm. won't... I don't think it will ever be fully even. No. You know, and that's kind of sad to think about, but it's the reality we live in, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's just one of those things. Mm. Which kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want, went on a bit of a tangent, but it's all good. Hey, that's good. Yeah, yeah. If, sure. you, if you could change one thing about men in general, what would it be? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> change something. I think it's just understanding. Like, mm. you know, the amount of times that I've talked to boys or, you know, had interaction with them and I say something and they don't listen or they just choose to not understand, it's like, why? Yeah. If I'm having a conversation with you about something, why do you choose to not understand it? Why yeah. do you choose to not listen to it? Mm. I think that's like, just a dick. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. If, obviously, if I'm spouting bullshit, then, yeah, like, yeah. obviously don't listen to that. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like with most men it's either a one ear out the other situation mm. or it's a you try and explain something and they go no nah, that's nah, okay we'll fix it it's like, yeah no, no no you will not fix yeah, it yeah yeah and it's for me to fix not mm. you unless mm. i say hey fix this yeah don't do it yeah i think it's like going back to kind of the last question like the stigma of us women being inferior apparently um and like men taking advantage of that it's like, well, no, like, I can do this because I'm bigger than you. I'm more superior. And it's like, no. Like, for one, that's a dick move. And you will not get any girl thinking that they're yours and, like, they're inferior. Um, I would definitely change that mindset, but... Mm, <laughs> it's, it's easier said than done, obviously. But, yeah, I guess that's just certain men... Um, not yeah, all, but, mm. and I think this is kind of a sidestep, but the whole, I I see this sometimes with like my younger cousins, but the whole like, oh, if a boy pushes a girl over, it's like, ah, boys will be boys. Yeah. But if yeah. a girl pushes a boy over, it's like, how dare you, like, tell mm. them off. It's like, no, no, raise the kids, like, equally. Yeah. You know? If you're gonna give one shit, give the other one yeah. shit. It shouldn't matter mm. on the gender. Or it's like he's giving you shit because he likes you. It's like no, that's that should never be a thing. Like, it's you're, like no, no. Nah. He just doesn't know how to express his emotions then. Yeah. Or he's just being a little shit. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact: people can be shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very much so. Very much, and mm. that's perfectly fine. Mm. <laughs> to kind of boost everyone's ego. Yeah. Uh, what what do you actually like about men? <laughs> I got really happy just then. I'm like, oh my god, that's actually so much. But like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like out of blank now. I'm like, wait, no. Did you want to go? Yeah. I think now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, men are useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> men are useful. <sighs> oh my god. It's hard for like me in particular to kind of say why because like I went to an all-girls school for high school. Mm. Primary school, boys never really talked to me, mm. and I didn't, not like I didn't try to, it was just kind of that, you know, the whole primary school, like, ew, you're a girl, yeah, you cooties. must like me, and I'm like, oh, I couldn't like you even yeah. if I tried. <laughs> yeah. And like, now kind of in uni, I'm starting to like, almost socialise with boys more, mm. even though there's two in our class. Yeah. But like, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a weird feeling, and I guess, like, what I like about men, oh, that's... Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's just kind of... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pinpoint it out. I was... I guess... I like seeing how boys interact with other boys. I find that really cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because there's such a, like, you can tell if they're friends or if they're, like, best friends. Yeah. Because with friends, it's like, oh, you know, what's up, bro? And if mm. it's, like, their best friend, they're like, come here, homie. Yeah. Let's just make out yeah. for a minute. But we ain't gay. Yeah. But we're just gonna make yeah. out. It's like... What is this, like, whole other world I've never experienced? Yeah. Oh, I don't God. get it. Or, like, guys will give each other shit, but then be like, hey, we're the boys, though. And yeah. walk off and like, <laughs> yeah. what? Yeah. I mean, yeah, because um, in high school, I had the boys. Like, I grew up with the boys. Um, and I was always the tom girl. 
Tom girl, what the fuck? Tom girl. <laughs> Not Tom girl. Tom boy. Wow. Um, and I don't know, there was just something about hanging out with the boys where like, because there's certain things that you can't be blunt about mm -hmm. in front of girls just because it's a sensitive topic or it's like they react in a different way. But when you're with the boys, I just love how anything goes. You can say anything and they'll either give you shit for it or give give the topic shit as well. Like, you can say almost anything you want to um, and it will... I'm getting off top. Wait. <laughs> There's a way of trying to explain it, but they're very just either blunt with how they go about it. They muck around with you. And if you can have fun with the boys, then it's just so much easier and diverse to have fun, I guess. Like, No, I get you. There's less yeah. like barriers in a way. It's yeah. just more like you can kind of be more transparent with them yeah. than with other people. And like when you... I don't know, they... I don't know, I could be wrong. Not all boys are like this, but like they hype the shit out of you. You know, like some of my mates and stuff like that, I will, I don't know, I'll be feeling shit. And yes, girls will be like, no, you look gorgeous. Like, don't worry about that. But I feel like girls tend to self deprecate within that like uh, situation. So you'll be like, oh my God, I feel fat today. And they'll be like, oh, same. Like, I feel, yeah. I feel massive. And it's like, well, no, it you don't. It doesn't help. Yeah, so you kind of have to like put it aside. Whereas with the boys, you'll be like, oh, I feel kind of shit today. And they'll be like, what are you talking about? Like, you're sexy as shit. Like, you, you can just do that. And just, they just hype. And I think that's what I just love about some boys. Not all. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that, that's probably me. So, I think it's like the boys you have around you in yeah. particular, they all seem to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them. Most yeah. of them. <laughs> most of them. I mean, isn't that with everyone though? Like all groups, you're like, yeah, yeah. most are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. Like anytime I'm hanging out with like all my friends together in a big group, mm. I'm like, all right, I love most of you. Goodbye. And everyone's like, which one doesn't she yeah. love? I'm like, exactly. <laughs> like, huh? Pick a person, you'll find Boy, it. The boys will be like, whatever. She loves me anyway. <laughs> the like, girls will be like, wait, but but does she hate me? Like, but did I do something wrong? It's like, no, I just hate all of you yeah. equally. It's okay. <laughs> it's like, oh my in the most polite way possible. Mm. Oh, what's something all women know to be true, but most men don't? Oh. I think for me, one of the ones is, like, I, I, I don't know. You can tell me if I'm wrong, because this would be interesting. But mm. even as soon as you, you like a person, the whole friendship group knows. They talk about They discuss <laughs> it in full detail. Mm. Like, I would not be surprised if there's a PowerPoint presentation on all the reasons <laughs> why. Yeah. Like, it is not a kept secret. Mm. I feel like in particular, and this is kind of our group, but like yeah. women or like the girls in our group, we tend to talk about it. So it's like, oh yeah, I like this person. Everyone knows. And it's like, all right, let's do some like Instagram searching, some Facebook searching. Yeah, yeah. Who have they been with last? How long was it? Why mm. they break up? Like the details. In Full FBI, that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Women are the elite FBI agents yeah. that no one wanted, <laughs> you yeah. know? But I feel like that's mm. just something that men don't realize. It's like, as soon as they start texting you, mm. some girls... Go through like four other different people before yeah. they send you a reply. Yeah, and it's not because they're slow typers; they have to get four people's they're, approvals. Yeah, they're <laughs> researching it. Like they, mm. yeah, I know. Like one of my friends, she was like, "Oh, I got a particular love heart from this person. What's the color mean? Google it." Oh my god, <laughs> we did research. She on sent that me shit. a yellow heart. What does that mean? That doesn't mean I love you. It means something else. It's yeah, because like, apparently, no, fun fact: a black love heart means you're either just emo. Or you're dying. <laughs> it's oh. like, what is this? Mean? That makes a lot of sense now. You guys send that to me every day. <laughs> like, oh no. I know. But you know, I think it's, I find that really funny is just mm. like how much detail or how much effort people will put into like, symbols. like, apparently, I didn't know this, mm. but apparently how you write hey. Yeah. Look at this five different ways to write yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how many Y's equals how much you want to be with a person apparently. Oh, wow. I did not know this. I did not know that either. Well, I was talking to one of my guy friends, and he was like, oh, I was just right, hey, to someone else. And he's like, you wrote that with three Y's? I'm like, uh, yeah, why? He's like, oh, do you want to, like, do you want to hit him? Like, do you want to hit on him? And I'm like, I just no. wrote three Y's. Oh, my God. What do you mean? What he's is like, this world? <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know, and four means you want to, like, make out with him. Five means you want to have sex. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, really? Oh, my God. I was just writing Y's left, right, and center. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I didn't know this either. I'm like, yeah. 
is this a personal thing? Is this a so much research into some basic things? Oh my god! Like, so if I write A, because I wrote <laughs> A with like ten Y's, what does that mean? <laughs> what marriage material? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Like I'm so confused. It's so weird, oh but god. I feel like that's something that most women tend to do is the whole like, ah yes, you like someone deep analyze yeah, yeah. go into full detail mm. you know that whole like spring around obviously it's better to kind of be very like one-on-one -on -one with the person you like and mm. try to be yourself but yeah. as soon as you put behind a screen it's like yeah look at this text message is this okay is this grammatically correct yeah, is this yeah. too many emojis it's yeah like, oh my God. And i think like um you know like if you got a message from like a dude or something do you click on their profile straight away before or uh, i mean it depends on the person yeah true like you know if you're already friends with this person then i'm like hey. yeah like like you know i know them but then i was like maybe i'll just have a quick look yeah <laughs> yeah i'm kind of curious yeah it's like mm -hmm. it's like i can't see your face i need to like zoom up or something like that it's yeah like, what do you actually look like where are you from <laughs> why are you talking to me what are your but, likes and yeah. interests and then it's like if you've just got like your updated profile and background photo then it's like nah you're not good no, yeah mm, danger <laughs> that's so creepy when that happens yeah. it's like come on you've had this account for 10 years you what you can't post anything i know it's so weird like, come on. but you, uh, it's so bizarre or mm. even the whole like having your because on facebook you can have like likes and mm. movies and tv shows and there's yeah. nothing on there and i'm like do you just not like anything yeah <laughs> what is this where's the personality in this come on yeah no i i get that yeah i think that's probably like i would say that as well like the amount of investigation that goes into one text message it's insane it's completely different between like girls and boys like i can't speak on behalf of the dudes but i feel like it's more of like a um i don't know when they're talking to dudes they'll be like oh she's pretty hot and so like, i think i'd try and hook up and shit and then that's kind of it yeah um i don't know the details but like on the other side it's like oh my god what's his profile picture i found him on instagram and snapchat oh my god let's add him and i'll just talk to him for you and act like a stranger it's like <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> do the whole like fake uh like fake friend whatever like talk yeah. to him oh uh, like i remember what <laughs> i don't want to give names but i had a friend do that for like for me not for me but Kinda for me, it was very weird. Mm. But he basically started messaging the guy I liked, and he was just like, "Hey, oh my god, so you look cute together. What do you think?" And oh, I'm like, "Oh no, oh no, don't jeopardize this, yeah. You know, <laughs> don't be that blunt. Women would be like, "Hey, chat for twelve months. Okay, I think he likes you. Yeah, <laughs> men are so to the point. I'm here like, oh no, yeah. What have you done? It makes me cackle. <laughs> what are you doing? The stress." Hmm. I'm sitting here like, how do you do this? I don't understand. Mm. It's creepy. Yeah. Okay. If your partner is a virgin, is that a turn off? No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have a full <laughs> word in a minute. Oh my god. Go for it. No, it's just, there is nothing wrong with someone being a virgin. Whether they are, I was gonna say 14, am I? Wee, 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 wee. No, 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 no. Age not minors. Bit. Not minors. But like, you know, say you're 18. And you're still a virgin. No, like, what it's is fine. this? What is this random pressure from your friends and from society to lose your V card? Like, it is so annoying to hear. Like, you know, you could be freaking 23 and not have lost your virginity. I don't even care if you're 45. Why is there such a bad stigma to it? Like, you know, like, there's points where it's like, why are you embarrassed? Because you're a virgin. Yeah like you know and you'll hear it from like everyone everyone that's older than you saying like no keep it as long as you want like there is nothing like it's i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it either even like the same thing with like first kisses mm. why is there such a huge fixation on it i don't know man like why is it like a okay oh you had yours at this age well i had mine at this it's like why does it matter congrats you were 12 when you kissed some random kid behind yeah. a park bench like, what oh my mean? god, we shared the same bottle. It was a indirect kiss. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't get it at all. I don't get it. I'm like, everyone. Oh my god, just oh shut up. God. If that's the case, I've kissed all my friends. I know. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, relax. I know, especially when the whole, like, I see this in anime all the time, but when you, like, have food and you eat it, and then, like, you know, I, I, oh, you, you know, want some food and you, like, feed it to them. It's like, we just kiss him. I know so you no, didn't. No, you just didn't. Until your lips actual <laughs> meat, that's kissing. It's like, y'all just ate food. You didn't even, like, kiss you're not even near each other relax and it's like there is no shame in being a virgin 
at all. And if the person that wants to sleep with you has an issue with you being a virgin, then they are obviously not right for you. If you, if they disrespect you in that way because you're not experienced, then they can fuck off basically. Like if you say to someone, I'm a virgin and I'm very nervous, they should take the role of being like, okay, how am I going to do this? If you feel uncomfortable, be a freaking gentleman with, or gentlewoman. <laughs> like, be gentle. Yeah, be gentle and be understanding. That's all you need to know. Like it's just, don't bully people that are virgins. <laughs> but also like even on that, there's no pressure. There's no... Like, you know, oh, if you get it before this age, you're going to get a medal. Plot twist doesn't exist. Yeah, you know? know, you do it whenever you feel comfortable. Mm. Some people have it earlier. Some people have it later in life. That's completely fine. Mm. Some people didn't want their V-cards taken away as quick as it did. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, that's reality. Mm. Everyone has their own reasons and stories behind it. Yeah. Just because you're, you know, a bit older in when you lose yours means no different. No, you'll end up a married at first sight being like, <laughs> oh my god, 25 and a virgin. Yes! Hello. That's what I was just thinking. I know, and I'm like, oh my god. Everyone's like, why is it so shocking? It's like, oh my god, you're a virgin? It's like, wow, no way. Since like, when? What? We were all a virgin at one point. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, you know, Everyone start off one. It's not like you were just born out of the womb. You're like, hey, guess what? <laughs> hey, because that's called incest. Oh, you can't God. just do that. Hey. You know, it's so bizarre. I don't, don't get the whole f fixation and fascination behind it. Hmm. It's like, cool, it happens. Now what? It's just annoying. You know? Does it, like a parade start happening? No. There is more pressure in being a virgin than being a slut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why do people give you more shit directly being like, oh my god, you're a virgin, than if someone was a slut? Obviously, they don't say that directly, but, well, they can, but, you know, I just feel like there's so much more pressure being a virgin. You know, I don't know. Yeah, and then even the whole, like, splitting hairs and the whole, like, slut thing. Mm. Men and, and women are treated so differently in that, too. Mm. Like, we were kind of discussing this a bit earlier today. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the whole, oh, you know, it's... It seems to be perfectly fine if men, you know, get it with a bunch of girls yeah. or have side hoes and all this stuff. But as soon as a girl's like, oh, you know, like, I accidentally kissed some other guy. Like, I was drunk. It's like, how dare you? Yeah. Complete, like, shame. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, let me tear you apart. It's elaborated a lot more. Obviously, like, they're both in the wrong. But it just seems like the stigma is so much more against the women or the woman. So. Um, Wyman. Wyman. Because I cannot speak English. Now nah, you're fine. But yes. I don't know, I just don't get it. <laughs> Society's confusing. It is. Oh my god. Okay. What mm. are some major turn-offs? Mm. <laughs> That's an interesting one. That is a question. Um, okay. I'm gonna say this. It really does come down to preference. Yeah, yeah. This is a full preference thing, but me, when a man tries to belittle me, mm -hmm. whether it's during or in general as well any kind of turn off look well no that is probably my biggest turn off the other turn off is hearing them sleeping around with other chicks because like i had a mate um who said to me like oh there's this chick in this location she's ages away so if i dropped her it wouldn't even matter and that was probably the Ugh. biggest turn off for me because i'm like Ew. that is horrible and he's like, yeah, I just wanted to get laid. And I'm like, you're, oh my god. Like, serious, man. Like, That's it, disgusting. Yeah, that was my biggest turn off. And yeah. I'm like, just, manner is a man. It goes so far. I know. Simple things mm. do so much. Well. One of my, oh, I'm trying to think, I have two. One of my biggest turn offs is when I've caught you in a lie and you continue to lie to me. Mm. It's like, why? Yeah. Immediately, as soon as I caught you in a lie, and I'm talking like a big lie, I'm not being like, you know, oh, you know. It's like, you ate my cake in the fridge. Yeah, like, I'm like, not talking <laughs> petty little liars, or like, you know, like, hey, I have a surprise for you. Like, not those lies, I'm talking yeah. proper lies. Yeah, yeah. If you've been caught, you man up to it. Yeah. No matter what gender, you man up to it. You mm. just apologize, you get through it. You don't repeat the mistake. That's what pisses me off, is the whole, like, why do you have to think you have to lie to me? Mm. 
unless it's a life or death situation there shouldn't be really a proper reason for you to lie about something big yeah that frustrates me mm. and then another one is if you go like oh don't you can't talk about this like kind of cutting off all the things that I like or don't like because mm -hmm. I had this in my past relationship but they were very much like oh you can't talk about this subject you can't bring up your uni friends because you know I don't have friends or like you can't bring up this because I don't know it or I don't like it yeah it's like why I, would why would you want to like block off all the things I love and enjoy just because you don't have that satisfaction of having your own version yeah, yeah. you should be proud for your partner and happy for them exactly if you don't encourage your person, well, person, Jesus. If you don't encourage your partner to be happy with these things, then what are you doing? You're being toxic as shit, and you don't deserve to be with that person. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> you know, mm. like I get it. If you were to say, "This is playing, playing devil's advocate," but the whole like, if I was like to say to you, for example, to go like, mm. "Oh, you know, like I would say like the ins and outs of like D and D, for example, like you know the nitty gritty details of it." Yeah. You're probably not going to understand most of it. Mm. You'll try to. Yeah. But you're not going to be like, no. Yeah. I don't get this. Don't talk to me about it. You know, there's things yeah. like I can, you know, if you were to, for example, like, I don't know, pick a subject that I'd probably... I don't know, if I were to talk about my cameras and the ins and outs and yeah. the lenses and the 1964 shit, I don't know. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's the same thing. Like... But the thing is, though, like, if you were to stop me from talking about something that I'm passionate about, I would probably come to hate you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, like, come on, man. Like, mm. It's just fascinating. Like, you know, I get if you don't understand the topic, but mm. just learn. Do your research. You know, it's called mutual respect for the person and, like, the, the relationship you're in. Yeah. And it pisses me off when that's not kept so that's a mean turn off. I'm like, nah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Get away. Mm. But on a positive note, what are some of your turn ons? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is probably more visual, but like, oh, I. Brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Hands. <laughs> They're a bit of a turn. I don't know. Like, I like a man that likes to listen. Because, like, I'm very self-conscious of myself talking because I ramble a lot. Yeah. And when I get into, like, a certain topic that I love to talk about, I, I apologize to them and be like, I'm sorry, like, am I boring you? And if they come back, which has happened maybe, like, three times, they said, no, 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 like, I'm, I'm really curious, like, you know, why are you ashamed of, you know, talking about something you love? Like, I'm enjoying this. Then that's, like, a bit more, like, oh, yay, like... It's like, oh, I'm yes. being listened to. I know, and I'm like, oh, that's that's nice to hear. I'm not an annoyance. That's great. Um, that's probably more of a personality thing, but like visually, yeah, probs hands. If they got some good hands, it's like, mm, yeah, some decent hands. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know. I guess for me, one of my biggest turn ons. I'm trying to think. I think the oh God. How do I word this? Ah, English is a language I'm supposed to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine. Oh, that's it. We're all there. Yeah, I know. I, I guess kind of similar the whole like listening to, but if you know, you're just more excited to talk about your interest. I love it when people talk about their personal interests and what they're excited about because mm. their face lights up. They get really excited. Like some people's voices go really fast or like lots of hand movements or they're <laughs> not singling no, out. No, 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 fine. <laughs> or you know, like. For most people, when I see they're talking about a subject they enjoy, their mm. eyes kind of sparkle a little bit. Mm. And you can just see how generally happy they are. And it's like, cool. Keep talking. Like, yeah. I want to see that more. I want to see you happy. I want to know more about those things. And it's a big turn on when you're like, okay, let me know more. And kind of like a minor turn on for me. But I have a big family, like extended family wise. They mean a lot to me, but so do my friends. Mm. If you're more willing to not only hang with them, but like chat with them and actually, you know, be it, yeah. friendly. You don't have to like all of them, mm. but at least be friendly to them. That's an immediate like check on my box because I'm yeah. like, cool. Friends, like between friends and family, family means the world to me, but my friends are my universe. They are my mm. everything. Yeah. You know, they, they mean so much to me in so many different ways. So if you hate all of them or don't like them or, you know, try to not make me see them, I go, all right, get out. Yeah. Because you're just basically saying to me, like, don't, you know, enjoy anything you love. And yeah. That yeah. goes back to the whole turn-offs thing. But mm. Just 
love my friends yeah. and me and I'm okay. It's like effort and respect go so far. Oh my god, respect is so nice occasionally. Mm. I know, chivalry. Oh, I know that's dead, but it's so nice. When oh my god. Is. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. I appreciate that to a T. It's amazing. I remember the one time I had a chivalry moment. I went to my uh, friend's formal with him because he's like, oh, I don't want to be alone. Can you come with me as a friend? I'm like, I'm down for that. Yeah. And, you know, he got me, like, a beautiful rose. And he was like, I don't want to get you a corsage because that's for boyfriends. But I'll get you a rose as a thank you. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Mm. He, like, opened the car door for me. Made sure I was in, like, Mm. all safe with my dress. Closed the door. And as soon as he parked, he quickly ran around. Oh, my God. I'm like, this is beautiful. That's cute. This is so nice. Yeah. You know, he, like, helped. Like, we did the whole, like, linking arms as we Mm. walked. You know, being all friendly or whatever. You know, even the whole, like, pulling out the seat. You don't have to do all of them. Yeah, like. The little things. Yeah, it's like, the little things. Oh, oh that it just makes it a eh? being a full gentleman or gentlewoman. Yeah, yeah. Because that's why, like, I said, like, chivalry is like I know most people say it's dead, mm. but it doesn't hurt. Like, any gender could do it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be solely men. Mm. You know, like, you know, I'll make jokes about it all the time, and I'll open the car door for some people and be like, <laughs> "My lady." Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can do stuff like that. It doesn't have mm. to even be, quote unquote, that old fashioned. It could yeah. be like, hey. Let me know when you're home it's, safe. It's just the nice little things, you know what I mean? Like, it's the essence, well, to me, it's the essence of a relationship. It's the small things that go so much further. I know. It's just nice little details. The details. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so nice. Mm. Yeah. Well, they're the BuzzFeed questions. I skipped two of them because they're about pregnant women and we are not Oh, pregnant. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like, hmm. Mm, that's Neither fair. one of us have had a pregnancy. Yeah, <laughs> so, no. let's not do that. No, thank you. Mm, we're good. For, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Shut up, laptop. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I thought kind of on that, we could say, like, if we were to have kids or mm. pets, whatever our yeah. version of children <laughs> yeah. would be. Yeah. What would be some names we would give them? Oh, okay, that's fair. Well, I know for a fact that I'm not going to have kids. Like, I, that's just me. Yeah. Um, but I've got, for a boy, it would be Soren. Oh, I love that name. What a badass name. I know, it's so pretty. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, Soren is, I don't know, it just, it's such a, like, I like the fact that it's a bit more unique as well. Um, but for a girl, I'm very, like, diverse with it. Um, and like gender fluid, I guess. So for a girl, it would either be Levi or Elvis. Yeah. So it's like, it's pretty cute. Mm. So. It definitely matches like the things you love and yeah. are passionate about, which I think is pretty cool. <clears throat> it just, it breaks down a lot of walls as well. Like obviously my name is unisex, but a lot of people think it's a boy name, like Dakota. Yeah. But it's like, no. So like, in a way, I like to play around with it and be like, well, Levi, everyone's like, that's a boy's name. It's like, no, it can be whatever kind of gender you want it to be. Like, it, it, no one said there was a um, a limit or yeah. a restriction on names. So. And it doesn't have to be gender specific, mm. you know, names or whatever. There yeah. shouldn't really be genders to names. But yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the reality we yeah. live in. That, that's probably, yeah, for me. So, For me... I always wanted to name my son Benjamin, but in my family you can't do that if someone else in the family already has that name. Mm, okay. So the other version I'd have is Eli, because I, I love I, that. I love that name. Because as as a joke, if mm. I was to be a boy, mm. Dad wanted to call me Litton, and Litton. I said I said no. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> he did it as a joke because yeah, I was yeah. supposed to be. I was going to be Benjamin, but he was like, nah, nah, I was going to call you Litton because like, you know, you're like the little Litton you get out of the dryer. And I'm like, you're a horrible Oh my human. God. <laughs> and he was Imagine. like, nah, I was actually going to be Eli. I'm like, I actually really like that name. That's awesome. That's a dope name. Yeah. I should have been a boy. <laughs> yeah. Eli's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that and, would be really cool. Yeah. And then for a girl, it'd be on the lines of like Rose Light, Rosella, like mm. Rosalina. I really like Rosalina and Rose Light. They've mm. just always been like those two names, but I'm happy with any version. Yeah. But I remember telling my mum that she was like, okay, you want to name your kid after a bird <laughs> or a Mario Kart character? And oh I'm my like, God. don't come at me. Yeah. How dare you? It's like, come on, man. Excuse me. <laughs> would you get named after, huh? How mm. dare you? That yeah, makes me hate. Like, if I was a boy, my name would have been Jet. Yeah. In a way, I'm so glad I was a boy. That's like, such a weird name. I know, it just does. I don't know, it's too short. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like jet. Jet. Like, what the f- 
Okay. Imagine getting mad at you. Jet. No, no. Did you like? I I feel like you're stuttering before you're saying a name. Especially you with your stutters, you'd be like. My name is Yeah. Oh my god, you doing your presentation? Hello, my name is. I'll just start taking off like. I'd be like, oh, we got some turbulence in the corner. Yeah, I know. But um. Uh, another girl name was going to be Monique, and I'm so glad I wasn't a Monique. No offense to Monique's, but I just didn't like I, don't know, I haven't met a bad Monique, but I cannot see you as Monique. No, neither. Yeah. Like, no. I said to mom, like, I love my middle name, Dion. Yeah. And if I That's if I weren't Dakota, name. it would be Dion. Like, oh, it's, just, it's just, it works so well. Like, you know, I can, instead of, because I was struggling with, like, my personal brand, so, like, Dion, it just works. So it's like... It's beautiful. Got it in the bag. bag. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, like, got it in the name. And I'm like, can you shut up? It's like, can you English? Mm. Yeah. And, like, so for people who don't know, I used to do YouTube before this channel for, like, five years or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But um, I took a break last year just to kind of focus on uni stuff and mental health and other shit that went down. Yes. But, um... I had the nickname of Jara because that's my full name put together. So like first name, both middle names and last name. Mm. I'm not going to say the last names and that just for safety, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, and it was funny when I had to explain to people, yeah, yeah, it's my like proper name, da 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 da. They're like, I did not know that at mm. all. And I'm like, I have secrets. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at me go. Mm. You know, but it's just, it's interesting how people come up with names. Oh yeah. And some of them are really basic. But some are like, how do you come up with this? I, mm, mm. I will never understand when people name their kids apples. Like apple. Oh my god. Or, yeah. like, you know. Just really out there names. Like, it becomes objects instead yeah. of actual names now. Like, I feel bad for, like, Kim and Kanye's kids. <laughs> Northwest, <laughs> Northeast. <laughs> like, whatever yeah. their kids' names are. North, South, East, and West. It's like, Wait. come on, dude. You're a compass of this race. It's like, where did North go? It's like. South. <laughs> South. No, that's the other kid. Well, maybe West. It was like, no, he hasn't talked to me. No, he went west. I, It's so confusing. <laughs> Could you imagine going on like a camping trip with them? It's like, all right, everyone get your compass out. Yeah. Go northwest. Yeah, I'm here. What do you need? It's like, yeah. no, 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 not you. Yeah, I oh, know. It's just like, it's like Jesus oh, Christ. I mean, you're allowed to be like um, unique about it. Yeah. Um, obviously, you can't be original because no name is original, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like try and do it within like a certain range, you know. Don't start calling your kid like fork or some shit. Dingle hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. But um, yeah, that, that's that's probably it for me. So. I swear. Your laptop's telling you off, homie. Yeah, no kidding. I know. It's probably my emails. It's fine. Anyway, uh, I fix them later. Yeah. But um. Like, I know for a lot of countries, there's actually names you can't give your kids. Oh. So, like, for us, we live in Australia. We can't name our kids, like, Duke or, like, any of those, like, oh. uh, what's it called? Like, you know, like, Prince, Princess. Yeah, like, none yeah. of those royal type statuses. Yeah, yeah. We can't do that. We can't do, like, anything, anything Prime Minister related. I had no idea about that. Yeah, there's lots of... I was that kid. Yeah. That, like, <laughs> you just I definitely born. was like, I googled, like, everyone's names, what mm. their names meant. I did the whole thing. You gotcha. I was that kid. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, so certain countries you can't name your kids, like, certain things. Mm-hmm. And it's so interesting. I'm going to have to look it up now. Oh <laughs> uh, That's cool. But, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can't name your kid, like, Admiral Anzac, Australia. Oh, okay. Baron, Bishop, Brother. Brother. <laughs> Who wanted to name their kid Brother? I don't know. This is the thing, though. Like, kids, like, someone would have had to be named this. Yeah. There's there's a whole lot. There's 46. I ain't going through them all. But, mm. you know, like, Lieutenant, Majesty, Justice. This is kind of a cool name. Uh, I have... I had a mate in primary school called Justice, <laughs> oh. so I don't know how that's going to go. Oh. Oh. Who, were, like, who would name their kid God? Come on, man. How God. high and mighty do you have to My be? name is God. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That, that's a bullying name if I've ever seen one. Mm. But, you know, they're all, like, you know, Queen, King, Satan, Satan, yeah. Oh my God, Satan, Satan. I yeah. thought a bop. That that sounds like a like a rapper. Satan. So what up? My name is Saint Satan. Saint Satan. Saint Satan. I would call a kid Satan. No, I mean, um, 
maybe. Why? <laughs> Shut up, Satan. <laughs> Pretty rude. I mean, I have that for my friends. I'm like, all right, Wonder Twins, aka Devil Twins. Mm. Go away. Mm. So, like, you can literally name your dogs and shit. Any of them names, though. So. Yeah. yeah. It's just children. It's just actual human beings. That's fair. It's just more like the legal system yeah. type of stuff. <laughs> the people that exist. Yeah, mm. pretty much. I mean, if you never got a tax file number, then like you're non-existent. So they're that's oh, true. maybe. Well, best certificates. Don't and all take that this stuff. on board. <laughs> best certificates and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. True, true, true. All right, hmm. I'm gonna get you on your phone. Look at the last song that you played, and then say what it was. Uh, okay. Why not? Something a bit different. I'm also just curious. Because <laughs> mine was Interlude by Nate Wants to Battle, which should surprise no one who knows me. Oh my god. But it's, it's from the album What You Want, so it's his newest album. Mm. Yes. Good um, mine was Guardians of the Galaxy's um, Play- playlist. Play- soundtrack. I love that. Um, if it wants to load, that would be great. But I think the last song was... I know yeah, oh it's so good. Um, <laughs> fooled around and fell in love. Mm-hmm. Elvin Bishop. Nice. It's very nice. Very nice. What a good like choice of songs. I know. Right? <laughs> I know. Um, ain't no mountain higher. Um, came up and I had like this other dude. Um, next to me and he's playing like his full rap music bops and I'm just like ain't no <laughs> I'm like yes I got this I always love it when people are like ah yes you know you, you, when people have headphones on it's like I wonder what they're listening to and you kind of immediately assume what people are listening to based on what they look like yeah but in reality it's like ah yes they look like they listen to heavy metal but they're probably just listening to yeah, like yeah half the time you like if you see shit. me wearing headphones you'll probably be like beep 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 some yes. crazy shit. I know. Mine is... Mine's all over the place. Mine's either, like, just... I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a mess, really. Yeah. I have songs from, like, 2009 on here. Good old Black Eyed Peas. Oh, my God, yeah. You know, I got a feeling. Yeah. To, you know, Little Boy by... Oh, I don't even know how to say her name. Yeah, she was, like, all over TikTok at one point. What's her name? Ash Ashiko? Is that how you say it? Mm. I know. Uh, it just varies, and I just I have no idea. I had Imagine Dragons on before, yeah. Avicii, uh, Turn Back Time, just oh, and even a Genshin video, but that's that's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, that counts, don't worry. Yeah. yeah, before that, I had Shawn Mendes, There's Nothing Holding Me Back, oh, yeah. and then Juice by Lizzo, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and <then> History Maker, <laughs> oh, and then shit. yeah, Therefore I Am by Billie Eilish, it's oh. just, and then Centuries by Fall Out Boy. Yeah. It's like a woo big yeah. circle. <laughs> That's fair. But nothing makes sense. Mm. Good. And then I look at like what it shows, you know, that does the whole like for Spotify, like shows you might like. And I'm like, yeah. ah, yes. One's The Two Princes and then Sweet Boys, which is. I am so overseeing that one. <laughs> which one? <laughs> Sweet Boys. No offense, I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I had. Oh, uh, I think. Saturday I had like a total blitz of just like rock and punk and shit like I was playing gorillas I was playing arctic monkeys I was playing all that kind of stuff and I'm like nice. yes I think Matt came into my room at one point he's like it's cool <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <a mop. laughs> I'm like, mm. yeah yeah I love how it like tries to target stuff for you on mm. Spotify I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> yeah I am too all over the place for this but thank you for trying yeah it's like I'm, I'm in there. Mm. But I've been listening to like a lot of them soundtracks where it's like um, songs that make you feel like a main character yes! and songs that make you feel like a villain and I'm like yes. I know. And for this. Some of the names are so long though, I'm like I don't I remember. Know. Like I listen to one, it's like oh, I have to remember now. Some of the ones are like like songs you'll listen to when you've just killed your husband in the ballroom and you're running away oh as the God. fire burns or something and it's like Jesus This is such a long title, but <laughs> I love it. It's so random bro. I know, or it's like, you know, songs you listen to when you're waiting for your train to leave the train station in 1890 or something stupid. I'm like, oh I didn't even think trains existed back then, but okay. Oh, I'm like, mm. what is this? But I'm also like, this also a bop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to listen to this. Definitely depends on my mood. Like, you can go from, like, rap to lo-fi to Shiloh to anything, to be honest. Like, can hit 1960s or can hit 2020 and just... Just anything, like really. Yeah. It's good though. 
I think that's one of the positive things about music. It's very dependent on your mood. Mm. So I was like, ah, yes. I feel like I need to pick me up. You put on, like, that particular song that picks yeah. you up or that playlist or album or 100%. whatever it is. 100%. Like, I have, like, a reading playlist. So whenever I read books, I chuck that on. Mm. It's just a Lazy Sunday playlist by Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's so good. Mm. I know. It's so weird now because I put it on shuffle every time. Yeah. But it doesn't shuffle it. It just shuffles mm. but it goes to the same exact songs yeah so i'll yeah. just keep singing it yeah even though it's changed it's supposed to be shuffling i'm like yeah, yeah. just keep going because nothing's yeah. changed yeah <laughs> in the four bajillion times i've played it mm. it's the same routine so i'm like cool oh, that's i so just good. keep singing as i read mm. just vibe out to it it's like oof. Bops. yeah and you can really tell like who a person is based on their music choice i feel like it yeah. kind of showcases a lot about them yeah i would print out like mini like little albums and probably just stick it in a book and be like this is my genre just all of this <laughs> this is me that'd be really cool actually yeah like a little like almost like collage mm. type do it Ooh. see how we go yeah it's something to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> we don't have enough to do yeah <laughs> but hey like you know random tasks like that are always fun mm. and you can do like all right which let's say which album you've listened to the most or like which like genre put that first i hate it when spotify did that whole playback thing because oh my god it called me out hard (laughs) (laughs) i mean it's just using their yeah algorithm to tell you yeah it's um it's like your top 2020 songs and shit i had post malone as the most streams but his song staring at the sun was like played or ridiculous amount of yeah. times and I'm like I was just obsessed it's fine it's like I was obsessed maybe upset same thing yeah <laughs> it's like please. yeah mine I can't even remember what mine was it was so it was so long ago it was so long ago oh yes the whole four months ago mm. 2020 was oh my god yeah it feels short but it also feels so far away I know it's like man. I still feel like we're in February but we're in April it's crazy in April like, yeah. yeah. If I look at my top twenty songs, apparently the first one is "Young Blood" by Five Seconds of Summer. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair. Mm-hmm. And then you got "Wonderland" by Eighties. You got "Sweet But Psycho," which is by Ava Max. Mm-hmm. You got "A Macarena" by Tiger. Yeah. Oh, that was my influence. I swear. <laughs> that was one hundred percent you. Yeah. But it's just like how? How does this work? Because hey. I'm just looking at all these songs. I'm like, yep, all of them have hearts next to them. Cool. Good to know. I'm still obsessed with these exact same songs. Oh, I had Little Wonders from Meet the Robinsons. Oh. oh, I had that song playing for a little bit last year. It was so good. That's a good song. Yeah. Oh, I love when you like go back on things. You're like, oh yeah, I liked this. This yeah. was good. <laughs> I know. Like my biggest ones was like the Lumineers. Um, a little bit of BTS. Um, yeah. Not so much now, but like then there's heaps of just like um, it was like of Monsters and Men. And just, I don't know, just a bunch of random shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the randomness mm. that's all over. Mm. Like, yeah, even looking at some of the playlists that I've downloaded from people. So, like the one I was trying to explain before, it's running through the castle on my way to kill the prince in my ball gown. That's the one. Ah. It's so hard to remember. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Or, you know, our love was supposed to last forever to... Um, you're toxic and I love it, which is kind of a bad playlist <laughs> name. <laughs> Songs shit. are good. You know, uh, where's another one that I thought was good? Like, let's go kiss in the midnight rain. Mm. Sea shanties to fight gods too. You know, the classic mm. things. Mm. I'm just... There's so many random titles, like, songs that get drunk bitches dancing on elevated surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? I know, like, this one. Uh, songs I want to sing running down an empty hallway too. Oh my... Bro, that would be awesome, though. Well, it's 3 a.m. and I'm reading Wattpad. <laughs> Songs I absolutely did not need to hit this hard. <laughs> Some of these are amazing, though. Oh my god. But it's just like, come on, dude. Oh my. How god. do you think about these things? Songs that would kill <laughs> Prince Philip on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna hell. Mm-hmm. That was great. Yeah, she's the devil in disguise. Yes. The end. If the fucking world. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, if. <laughs> Ah, oh, typos, gotta love it. I'm alright. Yeah. That's amazing though. Well, like, one, because, like, I follow some of my friends on Spotify, so it's like, spoopy. Sp- and yes. take control. I'm like, ah, good job, guys. Ah, nice. <laughs> Y'all got basic names. Come on, mm-hmm. up your game. 
I think I had a few playlists, but I can't remember. I think I just did like emojis and sunset shit for it. I'm like, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Playlist. Yeah, because the ones that I've written are like. Where is it? It's like mm. Anxiety Helper. Wee. Or like Tanaro, which is after my DD character. So mm. all songs connected to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is one I named Coming of Age Movie Type Shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, that's a very new thing. I know. <laughs> Jeez. It's like, whoops. That is, yeah, very on brand. <laughs> That, that's it. That's my slogan. Coming up age mm. branding. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. Some of these are really cool though. Just um, like the different names. It's very good to uh, just have a sauce. Yeah. I always like looking at random things like, how do people come up with this? I don't understand. Alright. How do you have time to make a playlist? Yeah. <laughs> I can't be bothered. But it's like, oh, I found this post that someone did. This is kind of funny. It was like, Boys, romanticize yourself. You are kings, you are warriors, you are enchanters, you are angels, you are a god, you are all these things and more. You are the stuff of fairy tales. And then someone replied to me like, you know that's the first time anyone's ever told me that. And then there's another reply mm. like, that's sad because you deserve the chance to be as much of a prince as I get the chance to be a princess. And then the reply is like, yeah. that's really neat, thank you. And I sent this to one of my guy friends and he's just like, so why did you send that to me? Oh my god. I'm like, come on. I'm trying to be positive here. And he's yeah. like, oh, I thought you were like trying to make fun of me. I'm like, no. Why do I bother? I'm all right. I'm trying to be supportive. Take it. Take my support. I know. I mean, sometimes they're a bit dense, but it's okay. I know. It's like, I get it. Mm. You know? Why I come across a bit like, eh. But also, take the damn support. Yeah. I'm shoving support in your face. Take yeah. it. Take it. Mm -mm. Take it and run while yeah. you still can. Just <laughs> Other than that tangent, we yeah. just went on. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That was kind of cool, though. No, it was all good. Yeah, um, I think we'll end this uh, little podcast here. So mm. thank you so much. That's all right. Um, yeah, we'll catch you guys for the next one. We'll see how we how this all goes. Obviously, you'll see how the final edit looks like. Yes, <laughs> we have not done that yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but I don't know. How do you feel, kind of comparing to? Like, the original podcast we've done in this one. Like, to be honest, um, I feel like audio podcasts are a lot easier, like, yeah. for one. Um, and, you know, the fact that we can just sit on beanbags and talk about random questions um, is is really cool. Like, you know, obviously, um, the visual side of things is always good to yeah. see. Like, don't get me wrong. But it is hard when it comes to post-production and... Um, the amount of work you have to go through when it comes to like synchronizing everyone's voices and the mics It, it does get very overwhelming, but um, no, I, I definitely vibe with this a lot Yeah, and that, like that's not to say that we won't do like visual podcasts in the mm -hmm. future Like mm -hmm. we'll probably do some because knowing us We'll yeah. do a whole presentation and like here are our simps and you're gonna need yeah. visuals for that <laughs> Yeah, trust me because nah. we will all be laughing our heads off and being very confused all at once yeah so there definitely will be like actual like visual ones later but i think these are a lot more like relaxed and yeah you don't feel as stressed like okay look at camera mm. are they working are they on yeah is yeah. there enough storage Did it, like, like your brains four, are four thinking. different mics is really difficult sometimes like when it comes to yeah editing and shit like that so but yeah mm. I, I feel like this works a lot better so yeah i think this yeah. is good so mm. Thank you all for listening, mm. and we will catch you in the next podcast, audio or video. Or we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah. And by all means, if we did say anything like, I don't know, doesn't sit well with you and stuff like that, by all means, leave something in the comment or just, you know, have an opinion and stuff. Obviously, these are subjective comments, so, and, you know, we can't speak for both women and men, so, but... It is what it is, so you kind of take it. <laughs> exactly, like we're only saying our own opinions, yeah. and go ahead, like say your own opinions in the comments. It'd be, you know, really cool to see if people agree with us, disagree with us, yeah, their yeah. own versions, renditions, whatever. Yeah. Because you know, we only know if we communicate. Yeah. So, yeah. Easy peasy. All good. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. No worries. Bye. Enjoy.